Hey YouTube Texas Blades here. Today we're going to be looking at the Bear Grill Scout Compact uh, Folder. Overall this thing's a little over 5 inches long, uh, closed a little over 3 inches and the blade is 2.5 inches long. Uh, it weighs less than an ounce. I'm not sure of the exact weight but I know it's less than an ounce. It has a drop point blade with convex curve. It's made out of high carbon stainless steel. Uh, the blade is half serrated, half plain, just like the Gerber Repair frame. Uh, I don't like that, but we'll get into that in a minute. It does have a nail nick inside the blade for easy opening, and it is a lock blade. Uh, and as always in America, it comes with a lifetime warranty through Gerber. Uh, so you can see there's the serration. Here's the plane. It's half and half, and some people like that. They say this is you know perfect for cutting cordage, and then this is perfect to get a razor's edge on. I just, I like, I prefer a plain blade, uh, plain edge all the way up it. Uh, it does have the same coating that they put on most of the Bear Grylls products and the handle is made out of the same plastic. I'm not positive what it is, uh, but it's not rubberized like the Parang or anything. The only bad thing I could say about the handle is there's no liner in it. So you can see there's some play in there. Uh, most people, uh, looked at their reviews most people gave it a five out of five stars uh, even like on the written reviews on Amazon uh, wasn't too many bad reviews out there there was a couple one guy said uh, he gave it one star and out of the box he said that the blade was extremely loose and you can see on this blade there is no play on it at all so I don't know if he just got a bad one in the batch or what but it, like I said it comes with a lifetime warranty so he could just send it back to Gerber and they'll either fix it or send him a new knife uh, it does have a little lanyard hole on the end of it although I wouldn't consider this a neck knife or anything like that I would just put this knife in my fifth pocket and use it as a backup EDC it is ultra light ultra thin so it would be perfect for like a uh, Altoid survival 10 or something like that maybe a little bit larger survival kit as a backup blade to go in addition with your EDC. Uh, I carry an old Uncle Henry knife and it's fixing to be replaced with this one. Uh, and we're, so we're going to try it out a little bit. You can see I have used it a little bit. The BG is starting to wear off there a bit. So the knife's not brand new anymore. Uh, it does come with the Bear Grylls uh, Essential Survival Guide, a little pocket reference book, uh, pamphlet, whatever. It locks nicely. Like I said, no play there. Uh, so I really don't know if the guy just got a bad knife or he just wanted to hate on Bear Grylls, uh, which a lot of people do hate on Bear Grylls. I happen to like Bear Grylls, uh, and I like his products as well. I think they're, you know, they're coming with a lifetime warranty. So, uh, you know, if they break, they'll replace them. And I have seen quite a few of them get broke online. Uh, especially the ultimate survival knife. I see people break those all the time, and I, but I think they're trying to break them more or less. Uh, I kind of baby my knives a little bit. Not too much. I do get a little harsh with them sometimes, but uh, I don't try to break my knives. You know, I have for video purposes on my channel tried to break a knife, but uh, I, you know, if it's going to be an EDC knife or something I'm carrying every day or something I'm going to use when I'm out camping or something, I'm going to baby it as much as possible. I'm going to get as much use out of it as possible. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do with this knife. We're not going to be doing any testing videos with it because I'm not going to beat on it. Uh, I'm going to use it as a cutter, just a small cutter. Uh, kind of treat it like a ceramic blade and it should last you a while, you know. Uh, we'll do an update after we carry it for a little bit and I'll let you know what I think about it again. But for now, we're going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars just for its compact design. Uh, it would have gotten a 5 out of 5 had it had a small belt clip on it or even came with a small sheath or something to carry it in. Uh, this way it's not just loose in your pocket. Uh, but like I said, I'm just going to stick it in my fifth pocket on my, on my pants and uh, that's where I'm going to carry it. So we'll be doing an update as soon as we get a little bit of use in with it. That's going to be it for this one. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching YouTube.